Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more Eador Imperium. So in the last episode I did some exploring in old mines uh, enough to get some uh, get me some money and I managed to be able to build a little bit more in my capital which was much needed. Uh, but I'm back to being poor. I think it's a little bit of the thematic of my playthrough so far is I am definitely not rolling in gold. Um, so today what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to go to Golahor on the left ear. Uh, the enemy, or at least one of the enemies, uh, is kind of uh, on the left coming I see some borders there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over there and try to strengthen it, explore it, and maybe hire some guards to help defend it. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna find a chest filled with riches and then be able to build some more and expand some more. Uh, that's the whole purpose. So let's get going and do that. So let's go to Golahor and see what happens. So only explored to 22%, so I have plenty of time or plenty of uh, room to explore it and uh, make it uh, more discovered so that people can come and establish themselves and build and expand my population and my income. And it's all great if all of that happens. All right, so we are in Golahor, Golahor. All right, so let's go ahead and, yeah, I can't build anything. I'm gaining six gold a turn right now and 12 crystal. So I am really poor. Oh, is there something I can visit here maybe? Demons, no. Retinue, no. Inquisitors, no. Demolo Demonologists, no. Giant spiders, no. Undead, yes. Let's do undead. I don't remember, maybe... Is that a place where there were too many of them and I couldn't do it? I don't remember. I guess I'm about to find out. The music in this game is always so peaceful, like you have people hitting each other and killing each other and whatnot, and you have like that super casual, calming music in the background. Alright, so Pregvar has approached an ancient crypt. It looks like the burial, burial vault of an ancient ruler or great warrior, and one is certain to find something valuable among the belongings of the diseased. So there's four enemies. Mix of skeleton and zombies. I should be able to get that, I would hope. Now, of course, you know, for killing the zombies themselves, I am not going to be... Well, zombies and skeletons, I am not going to be getting a whole lot for killing that. But from the lair, I'm probably going to get uh, some gold. I'm hoping for around 100. I'd be happy with that. And then maybe some equipment or something. Alright, let's just stay exactly like that. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Go there, you go there, go there, go there. All right, I'm gonna need to uh, be careful with my lizard man. He has more mobility than most of my other troops. I don't want for him to be all alone up front and take a beating. All right. So I might deal zero on that. I don't like that. Three, perfect. That was a max I could deal. You go there, you go here, here and here. So I'm gonna leave my lizardman here because I have two mountains which are impassable right here. So in order for them to 
come and hurt me, they're gonna have to either go around and by then I'm gonna have those, or they come in here and get impaled. At least that's my plan. Alright, you can advance here. You can come here. I'm gonna leave you right there, because like I said, that's kind of a strategic spot, to be honest. Kinda like it there. Oh. Oh, well, come and commit suicide. Uh, let's go ahead and cast a curse, why not? Let's cast a curse on you. Now I'm going to finish you off. And I'm gonna deal a bunch of damage to you. Alright, so I took a little bit of damage, but uh, overall I was expected to win that and I won it uh, pretty easily. Um, all things considered. So I got a whopping 9 gold from the the fight itself, so like I said, when you just win a fight you don't get a whole lot, especially not against tier 1 monsters, uh, but from the lair I'm hoping to see at least 100 gold there. Alright, my pikeman leveled up, so I'm going to do that randomly like I usually do. And I rolled a 1. So he is getting more hit points. Swordsman. Roll the two. He is getting more stamina. And I got 122 gold and seven crystals as well as a sleep spell. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, definitely not gonna spit on that. Alright, now of course to learn sleep I have to go back to my capital, uh, not gonna do that just yet. But now I have 157 gold so I should be able to build a little something. And one troop that I tend to like is the Flagellant, uh, but in order for me to get the Flagellant it looks like I'm gonna need to build an altar first, so let's get that done. There you go. And then I am going to explore some more over here. Oh, I want to also get... I also want to get some adventurers to help protect here. So the adventurers are going to be guards that are here that are going to be able to help defend my province. They cost 50 gold up front and 5 gold up keep. So I am going to sacrifice some of my uh, gold income so that this place can be protected. Looks like there's uh, the AI is going to be coming from the west, so that's going to help me defend a little bit. And that's putting me a little bit kind of poor again. Regvar has returned from exploratory expedition. The party did not encounter anything unusual, yet managed to map 8% of land in the province of Gulhahor. And we are going to continue exploring. Now I'm not gonna have enough money to get my flagellants, sadly. I'm gonna need to find another lair. Because now I'm only getting two gold a tur per turn. Alright, so we're gonna continue exploring.
Yeah, let's uh, let's find something good here. I need uh, need some money. While exploring the province of Gulahor, Pregvar has found a quiet pool. Silence and peace rang in this forsaken corner of the swamps. Not even the croak of frogs is heard. Surprisingly, there are no mosquitoes. What are your orders? Pass by, toss a rock in the pool, or set up camp here for the night. No mosquitoes in a swamp? That sounds fishy. I'm going to pass by. I'm gonna deal with this at another time. I don't trust it. Um, let's see. Alright. I'm gonna continue exploring. I need to find a, like another ancient crypt would be great or something like that. Something I can, you know, purge and make me get more money. While exploring the province of Gulhahor, Pregor finds something unusual, an abandoned temple. I am going to examine it. Alright, uh, while searching for treasures, Pregor has approached an ancient temple. So, Elf, Druid, Fairy, and Pegasus. Um, that is probably going to be a little hard for us to kill at the moment. So, sadly, I will have to retreat for now. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, a dragon's lair. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm gonna examine it, but I'm not going to go and uh, kill the dragon. I am not crazy just yet. Alright, we're only at 36% and we're finding all of those locations that I can't do much about. And I am still poor. Always poor. While exploring the province of Gulhahor, Pregvar finds something unusual, a primeval thicket. Alright, Pregvar has headed into the wildest part of the local forest. The inhabitants of the thicket have noticed the hero and prepared to attack. So there's five enemies, a mix of fairies and dryads. Um, <clears throat> And it feels like we couldn't win without casualties, so let's let's try it. My troops are a little bit higher level now and everything, even though they're still all tier one. Why are you all the way over there? Come here. Alright, so there's one over here. Okay, so some dryads there. Let's destroy nature the best w the best we can. All right, so my magic, as I figured, is not going to be really good here. All right, casting haste. Oh, you can uh, move quite a bit now. I guess I'm gonna wait a little bit with uh, with him. See what's happening. You stay there. You go here, right behind. I guess sing some more ace. Yeah, the dryad is just like I am coming, and I'm like I'm cursing you. Because let's say again that commanders are not great combatants, sadly. Their strength is really strength in numbers. Alright, 
let's wait right there with my eater right here that sounds pretty strategic there's like that line over here with just like that one swamp here well, those fairies are just uh, casting haste like crazy Ooh, I hit for one. That's that, that's not good. Uh, aiming for three is a little bit better. And okay, all right, that looks a little bit better. I'm a little less, a little less scared. I'm waiting for you. May kill, yeah. May kill, dang. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. I guess now I am going to be charging the little fairies. Oh, that lizard man is going to hurt that. There you go. There you go. Good job. Oh, I love how they move. <laughs> kind of like the the little goblins, kind of skittering or whatever they do. Kind of like that too. Oh, I did not deal any damage, which was kind of expected. Sorry, little fairies. I don't know if I should feel bad for killing fairies or not. are not very uh, made for fighting in melee like that all right so from the battle itself we from the battle itself we got 36 gold and 18 crystals so that's pretty good that's decent like for the battle itself I'll take that all right and my commander is now higher level killing fairies paid off feeling strong as usual randomly leveling up and I rolled a two so that's offensive tactics that got up Lizardman got uh, leveled up as well I like my Lizardman I'm really glad I hired that it's pretty strong it has good mobility rolled a six so that's stamina plus one what was that forest marsh hmm Maybe another time. My healer is now level 6. Oh, that's good. But I rolled a 4, which is proof I'm not cheating. And I will go with the morale. Oh, is that a ring? Yeah, iron ring. So, 202 gold. Nice. 17 crystal and an iron ring that gives me plus 1 hit points. I mean, that's... Not much, but every little bit helps, especially at the start. So I will definitely equip that. <clears throat> oh, it's night or something. Right, let's go build that flagellant cells. Right, so I can get flagellant. I can also... Um, after a few more building upgrades, I'm going to be able to start making level 2s, or tier 2 troops, and that's going to be pretty nice. Alright, oh, uh, there's a way... 
I don't always remember. Oh, I apologize. Oh, there it is. Oh, it uh, it got uh, automatically equipped. So we're good here. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna continue to explore here. No, 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 I don't want to disband my adventurers. I like them here. There's no stores, I cannot... Right, I'm at 40% here now. Um... I'm gonna build a pub in the province here so that it raises the the morale of the people defending here by one and it's also giving me a plus one here it's nothing too crazy but uh, I'll take it what can I hire here you can get me some goblins Only six gold. Yeah, I'd like to get something better. Uh, near the end of the video here, I'll go back into the into Riverton and I'll get myself a flagellant instead. Because those I like. Alright, so we're gonna do at least one more, or maybe two more, depending on what we find. While exploring the province of Gulahor, Pregvar finds something unusual, a ruined tower. It's just some orcs. There's five total, there, and it's going to be a mix of orcs, orc witch doctors, and orc club trollers. Let's get them. I have my iron ring now, I feel completely invincible. Why do you start over there all by yourself? Oh, that's because God, that's because of that. Your usual spot is taken by an impassable obstacle. Right, I have no idea where the enemy's gonna be. All bunched up there. Yeah, it looks like they're maybe more than level one. Let's see what I can do here. Which doctor is going to have fun with his spells? Thankfully, I have a eater this time around. Oh, now he's attacking my eater. My swordsman is in need of healing. Thankfully, I am now halted by a troop there, so I can heal him. Ta-da! Now I can hit that. It has one hit point left. I'm a big fan of not leaving things alive that I can kill, so there you go. Mm. 
Uh, can I? Yep, I still have enough. Oh. Or not. Not this time. Alright. Alright. Can you kill this? Maybe. Should I try it? Or should I... Well, he's not sure to kill it either. But he did. Uh, that's good. Yep, you healed my swordsman again. There you go. Alright, looks like the witch doctor is out of spells, which is good. I am not, and I'm gonna curse this ear just to make sure that it doesn't hurt my troops over there more than they have to. Oh, love that lizard run. He is a beast. And the pun was not intended, I realized it as I was saying it. Uh. There you go. Come here and get a eel before the end of the battle so that you don't take as long to eel in between battles. You should be able to kill that. Yep, there you go. And we have dispatched another battle, and it was it went pretty okay, I would say. So we got 23 gold from the battle, not too shabby. I mean, keep in mind for the battle itself, usually the spoils is not that high. No, it's all about what I'm gonna find as part of the lair. I would love, like, equipment that's part of a set. Alright, Swordsman, level 4, and I rolled a 6, so range defense is up. Yeah, I'm going to award you your reward. I got 95 gold, no crystal, and some feathered arrows out of the deal, nothing too incredible. I mean, the 95 gold is nice, but... Uh, Right, I'm gonna go back to Riverton, I believe. Oh, I can build something. I'm so used to not being able to build anything <laughs> that I almost forgot. Alright, so let's see. What am I gonna want in here? I think that I like the officer's ear, or maybe. Oh, so many things I can get. Like me some monks. Alright, so the fourth and the church. I'll start by the church. Alright, so I built the church. Now next is going to be uh, to build the fort, which is going to take a lot of money. So let's go... And I don't have a lot of money. I have 51 gold. And eventually it's get, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to want to get a second hero. That's going to be like 500 gold. Uh, barbarians have raided the province of Golahor. There's no holding them, is there? I'll destroy them. What about my adventurers there? There you go. My adventurers managed to take care of the barbarians. Alright. That is why I get adventurers to help defend. Uh, that just saved the bacon right there. make plus two still okay so um, mm -hmm. 
sleep could be really nice. Now, is that a tier 1 spell? No, it's second circle. I cannot... Um, I cannot learn uh, second circle spells. I'm gonna hold on to it still. So I'm gonna visit the stores and sell those arrows because I cannot use them. I'm gonna make two gold out of this. Um, I'm gonna repair all items. That was three gold, so I'm down one, really. Okay, and oh, do I have enough money to get a fl Oh, I sure do. I like me some flagellants. Come, come on. Oh, I could have gotten an elf. Well, I didn't have the money for it, but it's a, the mercenary that's available right now. I need for some rank 2 mercenaries eventually to show up, in case that it takes me too long to build my monks. All right, and uh, I think we're at a pretty good uh, stopping point. It's been a little bit more than half an hour here, so uh, this, a little bit uh, of the same old here. We uh, went into another province, though, and we explored some and managed to kill some stuff. I heard some ad adventurers that proved to be pretty useful. Uh, got some money, built some more, and just taking it slow because uh, in Eador it's pretty much for the long run you you don't finish a, a map usually in 10 minutes so hopefully I am building enough of a good base here to be able to sustain attacks and be able to eventually invade but for now i will go ahead and say thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already that's always appreciated and until i roll this game again see you guys next time thank you